Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on solving a linear equation with a fraction equal to a fraction. So we're trying to solve this equation. To solve the equation means we want to find the value of x and we have a fraction equal to a fraction. Now whenever that happens, when you've got a fraction equal to a fraction and nothing else added on or subtracted after these fractions, then we can use a method called cross multiplication. Now let me describe how this works. If we have a fraction equal to another fraction, a over b equals c over d, then what we can do is we can multiply diagonally. So the a times the d is equal to the c times the b. And can you see we're multiplying in a cross-like fraction. There's a cross shape in the middle. Hence why it's called cross multiplying. So we do that, a times the d, which is equal to a d, and that will be equal to the c times the b, which is just bc. And that completely gets rid of all the fractions in your equation. And just to keep this video short, I'm not going to explain how that works. But let's do it on this equation here. We're going to multiply diagonally like this. So we're going to do the 2x plus 1 multiplied by the 4. So I'm just going to write that with brackets, 4 times 2x plus 1. And they're going to multiply diagonally this way. So the 3 gets multiplied by the 27 minus x. Let's do that. And lo and behold, there's no fractions left. At this point, we've got brackets. So I want to expand out the brackets to free everything up. So we do the 4 times the 2x and we do the 4 times the 1. That's 8x plus 4. And we want to do the 3 times the 27 and the 3 times the minus x. 3 times 27 is 81. 3 times minus x is minus 3x. And now we've just got a relatively simple equation with the unknown on both sides, but no brackets, no fractions, nothing. So remember, we collect the x terms on the side with more x's. Now we've got more x's on the left-hand side than the right-hand side because 8 is bigger than minus 3. So we, we want to get rid of that minus 3x on the right-hand side. And how do we get rid of minus 3x? Well, we do the opposite. We add 3x. And what if we do to one side? We have to do the same to the other side of the equation to keep it balanced. So 8x plus 3x, that's 11 lots of x. We've still got that plus 4. We've got the 81 still. And adding the 3x gets rid of that minus 3x. So we're just left with the 81. Now, x has been multiplied by 11. Then we added 4 to it. So we undo the last thing that happened to the x. The last thing here is the add 4. So we do the opposite, subtracting 4 from both sides of the equation. So that gets rid of the plus 4, leaving just 11x. And we've also got a minus 4 from the other side of the equation, which is 77. And then the x was being multiplied by 11. We do the opposite to get rid of the multiplied by 11. So we divide by 11, both sides. And that gets rid of the 11, just leaving x. And 77 divided by 11 is equal to 7. And that's the final answer. And you could check that works by just substituting that back into the original equation and checking both sides are equal.